Wednesday morning. It must be the 6th, I think. 6th of October. Um, it's about half past 10. I've been open, open about half an hour. It's a bit slow going this morning. I got a bit of a headache, so yeah, no, I'm struggling a little bit. Um, I just put a new wax melt in Mulberry and Time. I think it's one of the new <clears throat> flavours I was going to say that I've got in. Let me have a quick look, because it was one of the ones that I had from before. Yes, Mulberry and Time. It's one of the new ones that I've got in on my website, if you're interested. Um, <clears throat> today, I've got more stock to sort through. So I told you we went to the um, flea market at South Moulton on Sunday, and I picked up some stuff. Oh, makeup down my face. Apologies. What am I like? Better go sort that out. Um... So I've got that stock to sort through. I want to clean up that window a bit, change signs in the window. And um, general shop stuff. So I will catch up with you in a bit. Flea market that we went to on Sunday, South Malton. I forgot to take photos, which is really silly of me. But um, so I've, I've asked permission and I'm going to take some photos off their Facebook page. And I'll put a link to the Facebook page, it, you know, in the description box. Um just so you get an idea of what it's like. Um, and if obviously, if you live, live nearby, go check it out. Apologies if I'm squinting a bit. My head's really hurting. Anyway, forget the head. Right, um, a few bits that I picked up from that um, flea market on Sunday. Got the first few bits out here to show you. I got this very lovely red teapot. It says Coon Rickon on it, which is made in Switzerland. It reminds me of Le Creuset. It's really lovely quality, you can feel. Um, I've no idea whether it's got a good resale value, but I don't always have to go by what things sell on eBay. I can, you know, if they look nice, they'll sell in the shop. Um, I got this gorgeous money box because I need another money box, fish. It has got the tiniest little chip in the base, but otherwise, and it's a gorgeous colour, that one. Always got to be some jugs. So here we go, first jug. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Again, tempted to keep it. Can't read, there's some sort of mark underneath. I can't read what that says. No. Something art at the end? No idea. It kind of looks Spanish, Portuguese, something like that maybe. Maybe it says Port. No, it doesn't say Portugal. Also, you know I always pick up bit of Port Marion, matching vases. So I got a couple of those. Really liked this horse. It's got like all mosaic tiles on him. Um, just thought it was a really lovely thing. So I picked that up. A bit of white fries, glass. Um, that will look nice in my window with my other glassware at the moment. And then one more jug. This one, that lovely blue pattern on there. It's a modern thing. Uh, Nicola Spring, it says underneath. But if you get a nice pattern and a nice style of jug or vase or whatever, it'll sell regardless. Right, so that's the first few bits. I have got some more things 
um, which I will get out in a few minutes. I've got the loudest breed of people outside today, the scaffolders, which is always good on a headache day. <laughs> I don't know what it is, they have to shout, have loud music blaring, and obviously chucking like poles and metal things around <laughs> so they make loads of noise. <laughs> Um, I'm just unpacked a few more bits that I picked up on Sunday and I'm kind of like, oh, I really don't want to sell this stuff. I like all the things that I picked up, particularly like that stripey, the white jug with the blue stripes down it. If your family watching, watch out, you might be getting some of this for Christmas. <laughs> uh, so, you know, let me know if you see something you like. Right, other things that I did pick up on Sunday. I got these cute little um, bowls or drinking cups. Look, they've got little people on them. Um, no idea. I just really liked them with their little gold t-shirts on. Random, I know. Uh, this, I think, has got to be a keeper, at least for now. I don't think I could bear to sell it you see oh, whoops copper okay i'll take that off for a minute you see his face oh look at it that gorgeous he's got a little ponytail at the back um it's hollow and then he's got this little lid to his pot on there on the label they put incense burner i don't know if that's correct or not but look i don't think i can bear to part with him so he might be a keeper. This one as well. This is the next one I'm going to show you is one that I'm struggling to sell. It's a studio pottery vase or yeah, vase, I guess. But look at it. The colours, amazing. Look at that glaze. Isn't that gorgeous? Glazed inside. And it does say the Friars Pottery. I looked up on eBay Friars Pottery and there's stuff that's different, different sort of pattern that doesn't go for an awful lot of money. But this to me is beautiful. So I don't know, maybe it'd be a Christmas present for somebody. Jack, if you're watching, avert your eyes. Uh, I got these cute little salt and pepper shakers, little birds. They're cute. Love those. And then I got this little terracotta teapot. Uh, it's marked like that underneath with two little cups. So terracotta on the outside, glazed on the inside. Okay, anybody fluent in Japanese? I'm assuming this is Japanese. Um, can you let me know what it says? Thank you very much, appreciate it. Right, and finally, this little pile. What a box. Okay, so it's a red box like this. And in it, there are four different glasses. Hang on, I'm gonna take you off the so there's four different ones, uh, Black and White, Hudson Bay, Long John, Ushers, Valentine's, Vat 69. Anyway, I um, don't know, but I thought it'd make a good Christmas gift. So last few bits and pieces, if you can hear me over the scaffolders. <laughs> yeah, so a few more bits that I picked up on Sunday at the flea market. I got this. Shire Horse. I think it's Melba Ware. I think so anyway, but I just thought I haven't got any horse figurines at the moment, so I would pick that one up. And I've also got a Labrador. He's kind of cool. Again, I think he's Melba Ware. I'm not expecting it to make me my millions, but nice things to have in. I've got this cool box. Uh, in with a key. The key doesn't catch every time you turn it, just every now and again, but still it's a really nice thing. Riley's toffee. I like that very much. A uh, cute little pair of earrings. I got another set of earrings. So this set of earrings. <laughs> Hang on a second. Right, here we go. So the earrings are like that. And the brooch is like that, but you could also have it as a pendant, can you see? 
There's those. And then finally, yep, this is finally in a nice little Chinese box, a little decorative scent bottle. So that is everything that I picked up from the South Morton Flea Market. If you live nearby in Devon, it's definitely worth going to. I love it. I found three things that I forgot to show you that I got on Sunday as well. So I got a pair of these lanterns. So I thought they were rather nice, just plain. But there's two of those. So that's good, fairly modern. Another modern thing, I got three of these. They look very much like Denby, don't they? They're not. It says Ethos. Never heard of Ethos. Um, but very Denby-esque, don't you think? I thought they weren't rather nice. So three of those. And finally, I paid up on this. It's a Bakelite desk calendar. It twists. It's very smooth. It's very, you know, works very, very well. Um, beautiful thing so I'm gonna have to put a good price on that to cover make a bit of profit on it scaffolders are still making a racket but I've had my lunch so I'm feeling refueled um I wanted to say thank you to Julie for doing an order on my website she's ordered lots of lovely wax mounts that box is going to smell amazing when you open it up um oh and also quickly while I remember I was looking on Avon because I always look at the beginning of the month what the offers are and if you like the vitamin C serum, not only is it on offer at £14, but you can get it in like a, a set with something else free as well. So normally the serum is 20 quid on its own and then £14 if it's on offer. But this time it's £14 plus something else. I'll, sk I'll stick a screenshot in. Um, so that's a really good offer. And then you only have to pay another si buy another £6 worth of stuff to get free delivery. There's a link to my Avon shop below. Um... Yeah, I thought that was a great offer. I didn't, do you know, I haven't properly looked what else is on offer. We'll see, and maybe I'll buy something else. Right, um, I've still got a few bits to price up and put out, and a bit of tidying, I think.
all. Um, hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. Um, would love to hear your comments and thumbs ups are really appreciated because it really does help the channel. Thank you very much. Take care and I'll see you soon.